Hi, my name is Stuart McFarlane and in this section I'll be covering the basic vocabulary that we use and the working that should be shown when carrying out addition. In terms of vocabulary, we use words and phrases such as add, plus, total, find the sum of, and we try and avoid the use of the word and. For example, five and four is nine. Something that's very commonly said, but we should try and avoid it. Now, having worked with concrete materials to introduce the concept of addition, pupils will start to put their working on the page, setting it out horizontally at first, with a view to working vertically downwards when the pupil's number bonds have strengthened and they are a bit more confident with the topic. For example, an initial piece of working may be two plus three is equal to five, working horizontally, and then start to work vertically once they're more confident. For example, four plus five is equal to nine, working vertically downwards. Now, when carrying out addition, as with any calculations, we must ensure that the numbers are aligned correctly. We must also try and ensure that the operation sign is out with the calculation. If we set up 23 plus 5, 2 tens, 3 units, plus 5, like so, the operation sign, the addition symbol in this case, is occupying a space in the tens column. This can lead to confusion. So what we must make sure that we do is keep the operation sign out with the calculation, and now we have it out with and everything's properly aligned, we can start from the right hand side and carry out the addition with our units. 3 plus 5 gives us 8, 2 plus no more tens gives us 2, 2 tens, 8 units, 28 for the final answer here. Now a more complicated example would be one that involves a carrying digit, something along the lines of this, 865 plus 58. Now as before, we must align the numbers correctly, in this case hundreds, tens and units, 865, keep the operation symbol out with the calculation, Add on 58, properly aligned, operation symbol is outside, now we can start at the right hand side with the units. Now when we do our units this time, 5 plus 8 is 13, we have a two digit number. Now 13 itself can be considered as 1, 10, 3 units. So we place our three units in the units column, and the one is the carrying digit. So with the one being the carrying digit, ensure that we always put the carrying digit above the line, like so, to represent the 1, 10, 3 units. And now we can start to carry out the addition as before. 6 plus 5 plus the 1, that's the carrying digit, giving us 12. Again, a two-digit number. So we place the 2 in here. The 1 is the carrying digit above the line. And we can add 8, add 1 to get 9 in this case. 923 for the final answer. <laughs>